Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We remember our name, place, work and a number of things. And it's so normal that we remember so many things. But what do you think if I say that there are some materials that possesses memory? Isn't that surprising? Well, that's what this video is all about. We are going to discuss certain materials called shape memory alloys that can remember their shape. The specific nature of the shape memory alloys is due to the inherent behavior of the materials. Shape memory alloys are used for diverse fields of application for their superior thermomechanical properties. The most commonly used shape memory alloys are copper zinc aluminum and copper zinc nickel. Let's take a look at this video clip. Here, an uncoiled spring coils back and returns to its original shape when it is placed in hot water. Well, this happens because the wire is made of nitinol which is a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloys are materials that change their shape when they are heated and return back to their original shape upon cooling. This behavior of the shape memory alloys happens due to the change in crystalline structure and to understand what exactly happens when SMA is heated, we need to know some more basics. Austenite is a crystalline structure that exists at high temperature and it cannot be easily deformed. It has a definite fixed long range arrangement of atoms in the material. Whereas martensite is a soft crystalline structure that exists at low temperatures and it can be easily deformed. The deformed martensite will remain deformed unless it is heated. That is, when a martensite is heated at high temperature, the internal stresses developed due to the heat supplied in turn changes the crystalline structure of the martensite into well-ordered austenite. Similarly, the austenite phase returns to martensite when it is cooled. This is a solid phase transformation process which is almost similar to solid liquid transformation where the ice turns into water while heating and the water is cooled down to get ice. The only difference is in solid liquid transformation where the molecules loosen up and their respective position changes. But in case of solid phase transformations, there will be a change in the molecular arrangement but the position of atoms remains unchanged with respect to its neighboring atoms. In simple words, the transition looks like stretching a square into a rhombus or a rectangle into a parallelogram and vice versa. Now, let us point the transition stages in a graph. The temperature at which the transition from martensite to austenite starts is noted as AS and the temperature at which the transition finishes is noted as AF. Similarly, the starting and finishing transition from austenite to martensite are noted as MS and MF. This transformation exhibited by the shape memory alloys because of the applied temperature is known as shape memory effect. As said, martensite can be easily deformed when a force is applied and stays in the deformed shape even after the removal of the force. Thus, martensite can exist in more than one form. But when heated, any form of martensite can transform into austenite and upon cooling, they return back to the original shape before deformation. In addition to shape memory effect, shape memory alloys have another specific feature called pseudo-elasticity. We come across several elastic materials in our day-to-day -day life. Elasticity is the property by which the material regains its original form upon removal of the applied force. But pseudo-elasticity is the property which occurs due to the change in crystalline structure. Assume that we have a shape memory alloy which is at a high temperature. At this time, the material will be in austenite state. When a force is applied, the material deforms into martensite and returns to austenite when the force is removed. This pseudo-elastic property of shape memory alloys makes its way for the usage in indestructible eyeglass frames. Because of these unique properties, Shape memory alloys are used in a wide range of applications. The maneuverability of an aircraft depends on the movement of the flaps. The flap movement is controlled by a complex hydraulic system. This complex system can be replaced by using shape memory alloys, which requires only an electric wire to heat up. SMAs are also used in many medical applications. The stent, an equipment used to treat clogged vessels in arteries or veins, can be made of SMA. The stent is inserted into the blood vessel and it expands while heating to remove the clog. SMAs are also used as alternatives for conventional actuators in thermostats, helicopter blades and hydraulic fittings. Shape memory alloys are stable, lightweight and they have superior thermal and mechanical properties when compared to other materials. But shape memory alloys have one disadvantage. Continuous usage of shape memory alloys 
may result in failure known as functional fatigue. So that's it for the video guys. We'll meet up again in the next one. Until then, bye.